live from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, Special Edition. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for our special edition of 4 News Now. I'm Emily Bloom. It is a weather alert day with snow, rain, and slushy roads still causing problems. We're going to send things right over to meteorologist Matt Gray with what we can expect for the rest of our day, Matt. That's right. And even though the worst of the storm is over, we are still dealing with some pretty serious weather, especially where the snow is still going on across the northern tier of our viewing area. The rain snow line has gotten up to about Deer Park and Spirit Lake at this hour. But it is still snowing hard as you head further north, places like Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint, Colville, Republic, and all the way through Okanagan County, still picking up and stacking up that heavy, wet snow. You can see they're blowing off the uh, blowing off the airport in Deer Park right now. The rain snow lines come up to there, and here is Sandpoint, where at least for a few more hours we're going to continue to stack up that snow on an area road. So a weather alert day continues into the night. Snow. And another issue that's going to be a big deal, I think, when we're waking up tomorrow, a lot of these slushy roads, they are going to be freezing over, especially around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene Metro. That, will, again, will go through the rest of the night. So especially if you have plans this evening, want to make sure that you're driving a little bit more careful. So here's our temperatures, 33 in Coeur d'Alene, 36 in Spokane. As we drop down, that's where we're going to start to see some of those issues on those side roads. Plus, we're also going to be looking at some fog. It's not going to be the most pleasant Sunday, but it's going to be better than today. I'll take you through the rest of the weekend coming up. Thanks, Matt. Now to breaking news from earlier today. Rescue crews removed a body from the Spokane River near the Spokane Police Academy. The Spokane Fire Department said they saw a man enter the river who was later submerged at North Waterworks Street and East Surro Avenue. Rescue crews eventually located and recovered the body from the river after an hour. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. We're, we're working steady on the investigation still. We're still receiving um, tips. We're still receiving items in um, from, you know, back down at the lab. Um, things are continuing. We're still pushing forward and um, it's worth the normal process of um, investigation. We're still doing a lot of interviews and uh, I'm talking to a lot of people. While the investigation into the murder of four University of Idaho students continues, this morning the University of Idaho's graduating winter class held their commencement ceremony at the ICCU Arena in Moscow. Students got to celebrate their educational achievements despite the town still grappling with the murders of four students. Bronte Sorotsky joins us live in studio with how those students were honored. Bronte? Well, Emily, at the start of the ceremony, U of I President C. Scott Green spoke before the crowd of graduates, parents, and others attending. President Green acknowledged the recent loss of the Vandal community and asked everyone to take time to honor the memories of Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin. It's been a tough few weeks for our community. The community of Moscow continues to grieve the murders of four U of I students. And while family members and friends of graduating students travel into Moscow to celebrate students' achievements, the families of the four killed and law enforcement are still searching for answers. The university's winter graduation ceremony on Saturday began with the university's president addressing the recent loss to the Vandal in Moscow community. And I want to acknowledge an enormous loss in our Vandal family recently. Ethan Chapin, Zana Kernodal, Maddie Mogan and Kaylee Gonsalves were taken from us far too soon by a senseless act of violence. Kaylee Gonsalves should have graduated this December. They were bright lights on our campus and cherished members of our community. To finish off the university's recognition of those students, President Green asked everyone to take a moment of silence. Let's honor their memory with a moment of silence right now, followed by a song from the Vandaliers that honors the students we lost as well as those students graduating today. As over 550 students took the stage to accept their diplomas, the university and Moscow community are still dealing with the tragic loss of these four students. Now following the moment of silence, the university's choir, the Vandaliers, sang a song to honor the four students killed, along with those walking the stage today. Live in studio, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. 
Thank you, Bronte. And nearly a month after those four students were stabbed to death in their sleep at a house they shared near campus, police now saying they are seeing evidence of harassment and threatening behavior being directed towards certain people who have come up since the investigation started. Detectives say they are seeing a lot of rumors and misinformation being spread online, also saying they're monitoring for potential threats. Threats and harassment, whether it be online or in person, can result in criminal charges and police continue to ask the public for tips in this case that can be helpful in detectives making an arrest and getting a prosecution. Tips, pictures and videos can be emailed to tipline at ci.mosco.id.us or you can call the number that is on your screen right now that is 208-883-7180. And police say they received a call yesterday that there was an active shooter at Lewis and Clark High School. The caller told police about a shooter that was armed with a rifle and there were multiple casualties. But the story was made up and it wasn't true. LC wasn't the only school impacted. Rogers and North Central were also placed on lockdowns because of the hoax. The school district said North Central was locked down out of an abundance of caution due to its proximity to LC. At LC High School, multiple law enforcement agencies swarmed to the scene, sealing off the block with dozens of vehicles. After about an hour, police confirmed this was in fact a hoax and everybody inside the buildings were safe. And unfortunately, there are individuals in this world that set out to do harm, and some of that harm is to create fear and panic. Um, unfortunately, that is part of the reality that we, we face um, in public education is because of technology, because of social media, there are these new pathways to instill fear and panic. The lockdown at LC was lifted just before 1245 yesterday afternoon. Many students left school early, accompanied by their parents. Deaconess Hospital, located near LC, was also put on lockdown as a precaution. And that terrifying active shooter hoax at multiple public Spokane public schools didn't just affect the school and its students. One local business also stepped in to help students running away from the school. The employees at Jacobs Java opened their parking lot to become a safe haven for students and families. While kids could choose to stay and finish out the school day, some just wanted to get away from the swarms of armed officers and see their parents. Right now I feel relieved that I'm going home. Uh, it's very nice uh, to be out. There's still a police presence there, so it's still a bit nerve-wracking. You know, the police walking around. They still have some guns. So it, it's a, it's a bit, it's been nerve-wracking, but it's, I'm glad to be going home. Finnegan and his friend chose to meet up with family at Jacobs Java. Employees say they had dozens of reunifications in their parking lot. They couldn't hear what family said, but saw the emotions on their faces. The baristas are thankful they could be a small source of support throughout the situation. And we have more stories coming up for you on 4 News Now. Three viruses are spreading through the nation. Coming up, how hospital capacity is now matching peak COVID levels. And treating the flu, RSV, RSV or COVID at home is also becoming difficult. Over-the-counter medication becoming scarce in stores across the U.S. And we got quite a bit of snow this morning, and though most of us have seen it turn to rain, Leavenworth, the big winner over at the foot of the Cascades, and some pretty decent amounts elsewhere. This is going to be our last big snow event for a while, and instead, we are talking about some frigid temperatures as we head deeper into December. We'll go through that change from snow and rain to cold. Coming up. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Lines Insurance at alllinesinsure.com. If you already know that a blend of tender, marbled Wagyu beef makes the best burger, good for you. Arby's Wagyu Steakhouse Burger is back. You beef genius? Arby's, we have the meat. Try getting deals this big down the chimney during the holiday sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a free $300 gift. Or check out the Summit Firm, easy on the wallet, for only $279.99. Shop our Doctor's Choice original lineup starting at only $664.99. And score two Doctor's Choice pillows for just $69.99. Plus four years no interest with no down payment and free shipping. Tis the season to settle in for silent nights. Happy holidays from Denver Mattress.
I'm Chad Young from the Easy Home Buyer, and I pay cash for houses. If you own a house and want to sell it fast for cash, call us today for your no obligation as is cash offer. We buy houses in any condition, and there are no fees, no commissions, and no repairs. We buy houses with tenants, fixer uppers, bare land, even haunted houses. Woo! Call us today or visit us online at theeasyhomebuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home Buyer. Remodeling your kitchen? Fred's has the latest in kitchen appliances from GE Cafe on sale. With a variety of custom cafe colors and options, makes it easy to personalize your kitchen. And when it's time for cleanup, the GE Cafe dishwasher offers loading flexibility and a reversing wash arm to clean every inch of your dishes. Get up to $2,000 in rebates in GE Cafe appliances. Come in and see the great selection of Cafe kitchen packages at Fred's. This Christmas, treat yourself to a new Toyota from Finley. And take advantage of year-end specials on your favorite Toyotas. Plus, delay payments for up to 90 days, making it a great time to check off your wish list for that perfect gift from Finley. If you're buzzed and doing this to make yourself feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Board News Now is brought to you by The Illusionists in Spokane this Christmas. Arby's, two for seven bucks. Every day. Oh, creamy ranch. Oh, melty Swiss. Oh, roasty beef. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Here in the the United States, we're seeing a surge in flu cases after Thanksgiving. The CDC is reporting that more than a third of all flu hospitalizations and deaths this season happened in just this past week. All but seven states have high or very high levels of respiratory virus activity right now, with New York City health officials issuing an advisory saying that everyone should wear masks when indoors, even if you have been vaccinated. So far this season, there have been 120 thousand hospitalized more than 13 million people have been sick and 7,000 people died with 21 of those deaths in children u.s hospitals are about as overwhelmed now as they were during the omicron surge that's according to new capacity numbers from the u.s department of health and human services and some pediatricians say the so-called triple demic is hitting kids especially hard experts say the flu can cause complications in children and they strongly recommend getting a flu shot. Kids as young as six months now can get an updated shot for COVID-19 also. The CDC says vaccines and antiviral therapies are still in the works for RSV. And as illnesses such as COVID, the flu, and RSV surge across the U.S., demand is high for medications. While some over-the-counter meds may just need to be restocked, the FDA says there is an actual shortage of the prescription antibiotic amoxicillin. Experts are recommending worried parents to shop around or check back later when getting written prescriptions and try using different brands that are less in demand. Yes, there's increased demand, but there's certainly products available out there. It just not, might not be the exact product you're looking for at the exact time, which is frustrating, but it's workable. Manufacturers say it takes time to get the drugs from the warehouses to the shelves. And if you do get sick this season, remember that antibiotics only treat bacterial infections. They do not treat viruses such as the common cold, flu, or COVID, which are more common. Protect yourself from bacterial infections by preparing food safely, especially meat and lettuce, and washing your hands with soap and water or using hand sanitizer. These small steps can make a big difference to keep you and your loved ones healthier this holiday season. And around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene today, the snow turned to rain, which is now turning roads into a slushy mess this afternoon. Meteorologist Matt Gray is here with everything that we need to know uh, for the remainder of our day and for the rest of the weekend, Matt. Yeah, and so the big thing I think that we're going to be watching for the rest of the weekend is going to be this refreeze tonight as we drop below freezing and all that slush that's on probably the roads outside of your house is going to turn perhaps into a skating rink if plow crews don't get there before then. So that is the big deal as we get over the next 12, 13 hours or so. Now, we also have some other things going on for Sunday. We'll have a little bit of rain and snow come back 
back around on the Palouse. Could be even as far north as the I-90 corridor very late in the day. And next week, as we get back to work, back to school, it is going to be cold, and I mean big time cold. All right, so let's go over a couple of things. So we saw a lot of that snow melting, turning into slush during the day. As we go down to freezing tonight, that's when we get that skating rink possibility for those side roads that have not been treated at all during the day. And we could be quite icy as you step out in the morning. Same goes for your sidewalks. We'll also continue to see some showers, especially the snow showers to our air, uh, north of Interstate 90. We'll also have a chance of a pretty good shot at some fog. And of course, the freezing fog creates slick conditions as well. The whole deal is because we are going to just dip below that freezing line as we head into the late hours of the night and early hours of tomorrow morning. 29 for Spokane, below a 30 for Coeur d'Alene. We'll even be down around the Palouse where it's been slushy all day, and so the roads haven't been too, too bad. It will be a little bit slicker as you get into those morning hours. I do expect at least a little bit of fog around Spokane and around Coeur d'Alene, especially as you work your way up onto the West Plains. It already looks like we'll end up seeing some fog develop there fairly early around Airway Heights and Fairchild. As we go through midday into the afternoon, pretty quiet. A chance, though, for a couple of showers there as we get into your evening. The whole situation here is this is just part one of this storm. Part two, the center of this storm moves over Oregon, and so this is going to be more of a Tri-Cities thing than it will be for us. But around the LC Valley, around Pullman, Moscow, and even as far north as Kellogg and I-90, we are going to have the kind of the backside of the storm that's going to bring in some showery conditions. Now, good news here, by 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, those of you who are still seeing snow up north, it is going to be out of there. So that is, a good, that is a good thing because it has been a super, super snowy day. Mostly this moves up into Montana, but you can see right on the edge here, Pullman, Moscow, Lewiston. Rain in the afternoon, but snow during other periods of the day. And so if this just wiggles over a little bit more to the west, which some of our computers are showing that, that we might get a shower or two in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. That could slick things up again for Monday morning. So I'll keep you updated on that part of the forecast as we head into our shows tomorrow and on KXLY.com. Our highs, mid-30s, so you have one more day to shovel before things turn into a block of ice, because look how cold it is going to get by the time we get to just a few days from now. Teens in the morning, 20s in the afternoon, single-digit temperatures above and below zero for the end of the week and next weekend. All right, thanks, Matt. And the Washington State Cougars were down in Sin City earlier this afternoon as they faced off against an undefeated UNLV team. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti shows us if the Cougs could keep up with the running Rebels and pull off the win. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. There are many different ways that Numerica gives back. Financial education is my way of giving back to the community by being able to help members in branch and getting the opportunity to go out into schools and teach kids about how to put themselves in a better position financially. Hey, Greens, how's everything going today? Hey, Robert, we're good. Just checking in on that car loan we applied for. No worries, let me pull that up. Yep, looks like you're approved and all set. Hey, that's great news. So, you headed over to the dealership now? Yep, just gotta make one stop first. And we got a great rate too. You're building a home or updating an existing one. You want windows to be strong, beautiful, long-lasting, and durable. You want options to express creativity and increase your home's curb appeal. You want to feel secure in your investment. Then choose Milgard Windows and Doors from River City Glass. Both are industry leaders with the highest quality materials and windows that are backed by a lifetime warranty to include parts and labor. Residential and commercial, Milgard Windows and Doors. Call River City Glass today or visit their showroom at 6615 East Main. Thousands of families living on the streets will struggle to stay warm this winter, but you can help. We're collecting donations to buy winter clothes and services that will keep those families warm and dry. Donate today at warmheartswinterdrive.com or any neighborhood Columbia bank. It doesn't matter how you say it, as long as you say it often. 
Praise your child at least four times for every time you correct them, and you'll be on your way to raising a confident, caring kid. 4 to 1 Praise is just one of the many parenting tools from the experts at Boys Town. Visit boystown.org slash praise to receive your 10 ways to praise magnet. It's a great reminder to keep it positive and that helpful parenting advice is just a click away. 4 News Now is brought to you by Northwest Motorsport. By Gonzaga's standards, this season has not been what the team was hoping for, losing three games already and running out of time to bolster their resume come March. But they can still find themselves in the top 20 with a couple of nice wins over Kentucky and Michigan State. So the NCAA tournament streak is probably safe this year. And on Friday night, they picked up a 77-60 win over the Washington Huskies. In fact, those 60 points by UW are the fewest the Zags have given up all season long. On the offensive side, Drew Timmy led all scores with 22 points as he was 8 of 13 from the field. All of those coming inside the paint as the strategy coming into the game was take advantage of a weakened Huskies team under the basket. But um, we knew that they were light at the position so that, I mean, if, if we give Drew the ball and he could hit dude with three-point fakes and, and get two fouls quick, that um, they wouldn't really have, have no more answer the rest of the game. And it worked to perfection. So... Now, Zags will be right back at it Monday evening as they will welcome in Northern Illinois a rematch as a rematch against Alabama is looming next Saturday. Now to a team that is simply trying to end its NCAA tournament drought, the Washington State Cougars, who were down in Las Vegas Saturday afternoon as they took on 9-0 UNLV. Well, towards the end of the first half, Cougs find themselves down a couple, but Kamani, who seen you with a, with a uh, new guy out of France, knocks down the long three. Wazoo takes the lead. In the second half, WSU down once again. TJ Bomba is going to take the drive to the basket. He's blocked, though, in UNLV with a fast break opportunity. They finish with the layup to extend their lead. Washington State not going away, though, as Justin Powell's going to hit from deep to tie up the game at 45 apiece. He would finish with 15 on the day, all of those from three. But it's simply hard to win games when you're careless with the ball. Muhammad Gay, Gay has his pocket picked, and it goes right into the hands of the running Rebels. Go into transition. They finish with yet another basket. Washington State with 22 turnovers on the day. UNLV now with an eight-point lead, and Kashawn Gilbert drives to the basket, gets the basket to go, and the foul. They take control in the second half to stay unbeaten on the season. The Cougs made it interesting at the end, but the fifth time, but they suffered their fifth loss on the season. The road uh, for Washington State doesn't get any easier from here. They're going to take on Baylor next week before headed to Hawaii for the Diamond Head Classic. And staying with Washington State, the football team is less than a week away from playing in the second annual Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl, but the storyline right now isn't about their Fresno State opponent. It's simply what what kind of team are they going to field next week? Between the players entering the transfer portal, injuries, and Dayon Henley announcing he would sit out this one as he prepares for the NFL. Around the fifth, around a fifth of the original roster won't be there, so they're going to need guys like wide receiver Lincoln Victor to step up and help lead a very young squad. For the senior out of Camas, Washington, he's spent the last two years at WSU earning a larger role on the team and eventually culminating with him being put on scholarship and being named a team captain. Now Dickard is going to look for him to make some big plays on offense. That, that definitely can be frightening, but at the same time, you just got to stay consistent, know that guys are looking up to me, um, and not don't change for, for anything, you know, just stay consistent, be me, and uh, continue to work hard, you know, that's all I've known, known my whole life is hard work, so there's always something great at the end of hard work, so as long as we continue to do that, and, you know, guys follow in the same steps that, you know, I've, you know, I've done and just kind of get along with the program, I think we'll be just fine, you know, obviously we'll add some pieces. Uh, now, Victor did hint at this being his final year suiting up for the Cougs. He does have an extra year of eligibility if he wants to use it. But one way or another, the Cougs and the Bulldogs will face off from SoFi Stadium a week from today. You can watch that game exclusively right here on KXOI ABC4. For News Now, we'll be right back. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. perfect gift for your wine lover during our 12 days of gifting. A new special every day. Visit us online or like us on Facebook. Come in to Leitau Creek today. Sip, shop, ship most anywhere in the USA. Cheers. 
The secret to success is always something like... Hang in there. Embrace the hustle. No pain, no gain. But at Denver Mattress, we believe the best way to get ahead is to start ahead with a great night's sleep on a purple mattress. Soft and firm in all the right places, the Gel Flex grid keeps you cool all night long, making purple sleep better sleep. Overnight success is waiting only at Denver Mattress, the easiest way to find your perfect purple. Our family is all over the place sometimes, but ICCU helps us keep up with them. We use card control to turn on Olive's debit card when she needs to pay for activities. And turn it off when she's shopping online. We make sure Forrest is depositing his lawn mowing checks into his college fund. And we definitely make sure to ask Grandma Ivy where all those Zell transfers come from. Phew, that's a lot of keeping up. You ready for a break? We have a friend right now in one of the hospice houses. He said, the people are so happy here. And he said, I feel safe. We get to be with people at a very sacred yeah. moment. The mission of Hospice of Spokane is to help people live as fully as they can during those dying days and weeks. To serve with a mission and learn how you can join the Hospice of Spokane team, visit hospiceofspokane.org. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Salvation Army of Spokane Red Kettle Christmas Campaign. Well, the odds of your street being icy in the morning are very high unless somehow the snow plows get to you first. And it's going to be a, an icy theme here over the next week with very cold weather over the next few days. All right. Thanks, Matt. Well, the holiday season is about more than just candy, but candy is, of course, the sweetest part of the holiday season. Tastes vary from person to person, even state to state. The CandyStore.com surveyed 16,000 customers, distributors, and manufacturers to create a list of favorites, and some of them might surprise you. Peppermint bark, a traditional treat, is no longer as popular as it once was. It lost the top spot in six states, including California and Texas, and the ever popular popular candy canes are also losing their flavor. They lost the top spot in four states this year. Uh, apparently, the Tootsie Pop is the most popular treat here in Washington. Uh, I am certainly not a fan of the Tootsie Pop. If I could take peppermint bark, I would take that any day. I like Tootsie Pops. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but right. I was looking for some in the store the other day and they didn't have any, so maybe there's oh, some truth to it. That could be the case. All right, well, you can keep up to date with all of the news on KXOI.com. We'll see you here tomorrow. Download the 4 News Now app today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.